That's the Queen's Park Rangers lineup, unchanged from last week, with Tony Curry on the substitutes bench, not considered to be fully match fit. Wrexham make just one change from the team which beat Swansea last week. Edwards coming in for Alan Hill, who's now the substitute. The referee this afternoon is John Hunting of Leicester, who's on the FIFA list. Wrexham in red shirts and black shorts. Here is Terry Darricott. Uh, victory over Swansea last week, and the Welsh battle was their first victory in five matches. They lost all four games during the month of November. And here's Clive Allen. Queen's Park Rangers beaten at Cambridge last week 2-1. That dropped them from first place to fifth. It's Glenn Roder. And an early encampment in the opposition half by Rangers. Here's Gillard, restored to the sides. Tim <laughs> looking down on things from above. Hazel battling away. Goddard wasn't to know it, but there were two players better placed behind him. Bowles. And Dwyer, at least uh, making his presence felt. Chance looking for the long throw. In fact, that's the only option open to him. Winter standing in front. Met by Jerry Jones. Into turning into the attacker. And Davis was already coming forward. And he was able to block Hazel's shot. But Binter caused the problems initially by turning into the defender who was coming towards the goal. And then McNeil trying to rescue it got in the back pass and almost presented Bob Hazel with a goal. Credit to Di Davis for denying him. Double block on the near post. Goodard now coming away, and that's very easy for Davis. Although he seemed to put a muscle as he went forward. He's looking very uncomfortable, Davis. Very happy, Davis. His movement certainly went a bit then as he came across the area. Into the back of Goddard because he lost the flight of the ball. Curry making the forward run. McNeil with him. Here's Roda. Move from the practice pitches. Can't right. do him a power of good he's had a few problems with injuries and also was called away to the Welsh squad since signing from Chester nearly six weeks ago and he really took that very sharply simple flick from McNeil right into his path and he thumped it first time to give Wrexham the lead 14 minutes gone Prince Park Rangers nil Wrexham won Rhoda Difficult month this for Wrexham. They play Luton next week, then away to Burnley. They're away at Sunderland and home to Chelsea over Christmas, those last two matches. And uh, Alvin Griffiths, obviously delighted with the way his number nine took that chance.
Here's Shanks. Bowles, not seen too much of him yet. Nice first touch, and here's David McCreary. Oh, and he's put it wide. That was really a lovely move by Rangers. Only the finish spoiled it. Bowles starting the first time flick by Gordon Hill, and McCreary moving into the space, but put it wide. And there's going to be an early substitution by Queen's Park Rangers. And Curry is coming on in place of Glenn Roder. And the way Roder's moving off, that would seem to be a tactical substitution and not one caused by injury. Needing somewhat more guile in midfield would seem to be the thinking of Tommy Duffy. Winter, good touch for Sutton. Ball didn't run Carney for him, but that's almost a good ball, but not quite. And the goalkeeper is down hurt, and they're not very happy about the way Edwards went in for the ball. Seemed to me to catch uh, the goalkeeper on the chin. And obviously, the Rangers defenders feeling that there were too many stats showing. It was a good attack by Wrexham. Sutton who played the ball through and it was just short of being inch perfect. And Steve Wicks deciding to take his own retribution against Edwards who went for it very strongly. And the referee wants further words with Edwards. Shows him, as we can all see, the yellow card. Notion the dressing room is that Curry is on for Rhoda because Rhoda got a knock above the hip which restricted his movement. Hill looking for Bowles and finding him. Curry square. Got out and Allen down the middle, now joined by Hill. Everyone behind the ball now for Wrexham. That's for Allen. Davis half out, now back pedalling. Derricott, here's Hill. Didn't really get hold of it as he can. Nice work then by Clive Allen. And Hill not really quite unsung with his shot. A bit of leaning on by Jones. But the whistle, in fact, is for half time. really not going too well for Tommy Duck and his team who are followed by him the first two anyway and then Curry going in behind the reason they're not going well mainly because Ian Edwards taking his chance finally to give Wrexham a lead which they fully deserve at half time and in fact they might perhaps on the balance of play have had more than one both goalkeepers still feeling the effects of their first half knocks problem for Chris Woods is his right thigh the result of the uh, challenge from Ian Edwards Di Davis at the other end confirmation that he has pulled a hamstring in his left leg and, uh, some encouragement from the crowd for Rangers at the start of the second half here's Don Shanks Harry reached by Davis looking for Allen behind him Alvin Griffith's team is in the centre there currently leading the Welsh Challenge to be the first Welsh side in the first division for 17 years Swansea are in 12th place and Cardiff in 13th one point each behind uh, Wrexham Jones Edwards on for Cartwright Winter coming to the middle Fox is behind him and they all missed it but here's Derricott. A really good thump by McNeil on his trusted left foot. But it was curling away. Conversation between Tommy Doherty and Ken Shellato. Rexham making their fifth match against the London side. They've beaten Charlton and Fulham. And they've lost to Chelsea and West Ham. Oh, 
Vinter, usually the most forward player for Wrexham. Fox, break is on the right with Darricott and with Sutton. Vinter now in the inside right position, Fox further over. more than justifying his return to the team. Fox. Darakot. Here's Vinter. And just reached by Woods. And blocked and blocked and finally in by Vinter after a tremendous struggle. I think they thought that he was offside and it certainly looked as though he was suddenly in space but the linesman was absolutely level. And... Woods deciding not to come, managed to get one hand to it, forced it across the, the goal to the post, where Vinter managed in the end to beat three defenders to knock it in. Suffered a bit in doing so, but it's given Wrexham a 2-0 lead. Another happy afternoon for Chris Woods. from Bowles and Curry. This one is to be pulled out of the park. The side to have beaten Rangers here was Leicester City, comprehensively at 4-1. Curry. Here's Goddard. And that's one back. We might be about to have a very interesting second half. First time that Curry really has got fully in the action. Nicely taken by Goddard on his chest and well thumped wide of Di Davis. And obvious pleasure for all of Gomez on the face of Tommy Duffield. Paul Goddard, the scorer, his seventh league goal of the season, which is seventh goal of any sort. wants words with Tony Curry no or does he yes he does he wants words with Curry and Mel Sutton and two of the senior players on the field and the game will restart with the drop ball so it's obviously for some comment made Had ten minutes of the second half, two goals in that time. And the score is now two one to Wrexham. And the crowd certainly have a welcome from their slumbers in the second period. Vinter. And we've got a sort of cut time now. That's the atmosphere. Fair challenge by McCreary. Frankly, it's as though there's been something wrong with the acoustics all the afternoon and they've suddenly been put right. Here's Gillard. And Hazel, Fox, Vinter, still Vinter. And he hit the post and amazingly Edwards wasn't able to put it in. And it was Shanks who blocked it on the line. But meantime, 
we do have a confirmation this time that Vinter was offside. Well, I have a suspicion that he was when he scored, but I may be wrong in that because the angle here isn't terribly good. But he certainly looked offside that time, and the linesman was standing with his flag aloft. Never mind, it made for some exciting moments. 25 minutes ago, and the game really nice to bounce. David McCreary, that's well taken by Hazel. Oh, and he follows through, and Gunnar puts it in! Real determination by Hazel won that one. What a change in the expression all around the ground. And David McCreary, who started that, Hazel powered his way through, kept going, the ball came to Goddard, and Goddard stuck it away cleanly for the second time in the match to make the score two apiece. Vinter. Mel Sutton. There's Hill. And Alan battling. Sutton comes to him. And Jones to try for comfort. Well, for the record, it's uh, 11 years ago this week that Tommy Doherty resigned from Queen's Park Rangers on his first visit here. Second one lasting a bit longer. And a bit more successful too. Ending on top. Winter. No mean effort. the ball was Mel Sutton, the player of the first period, but some stirring stuff in the second period with two goals by Paul Goddard giving Queen's Park Rangers a point after it seemed that Mick Vinter had taken both away to Wrexham. David McCreary, an important factor in the second half when Rangers upped their pace and fought back well from a losing position. And I would think at the finish, both sides happy to settle for the one point that they get. 2-2. Two, two. 